It's been a while since I've done an actual skincare routine. And it almost seems like, well, I focus a lot on makeup, but I'm a, I'm I'm very much into skincare. So I'm just gonna be going through the products that I've been using like almost religiously lately. And um, kind of my philosophy on my skincare routine. Um, I'm not an expert like when it comes to ingredients and all that. I'm not like a stickler for like, you should use this, this, and this, and this. My brain doesn't go that far. Things like the five step Korean skincare routine, five step, 10 step, whatever. I don't really follow. It's kind of more like the necessary steps that I think every basic skincare routine should have, but that's just me. Is that adorable? <laughs> now my cleansing routine is pretty extensive, or at least the number of products I use for cleansing because I want to make sure my skin, my skin is actually clean before I start putting things on top of it. If you're swiping your face with a toner with a piece of cotton and you see foundation coming off, you're not cleansing your skin well enough, I think. So I want to make sure I use products that will remove every last bit of makeup. Now I usually wear pretty natural makeup so it's easy to remove with just my cleansing balm but on days where i wear a little bit slightly heavier makeup or anything on my lips um i have to use an eye and lip remover this is a new one from triotica which i think hasn't come out yet or it's coming out soon so i've been testing it um and i did give some bottles to my friends for them to try and they all really like it it's the lip and eye micellar cleanser now it says micellar water so you can actually use this all over your face but it's mostly for eyes and lips. Now, if you can see, the ratio of actual, like the this is the cleanser part up here, and the rest is actually like an anti-aging sort of moisturizing formula. Because when they were making this, they said that they wanted to make something that's gonna cleanse the makeup off really, really well, especially like waterproof makeup. Because originally their cleanser, you could remove point makeup with that, but they wanted to make something that's way more effective for moving things like waterproof mascara, eyeliner, and lipstick and things like that. But they didn't want to compromise the moisture of the skin because cleansing can strip the skin a lot, um, and especially things like micellar water, which honestly, I don't, I'm not really super into micellar water. So this, um, I use mostly to just remove a bulk of the eye makeup and the lip. Uh, makeup that is on my face and the thing with this is not only does it remove eye makeup flawlessly it doesn't hurt my eyes which is like a thing that most eye makeup removers tend to do to me i soak the cotton pad and then i kind of press it in my hand to even it out on the actual um cotton pad and what mayo was telling me is that first you want to press it on the lid uh five seconds or so wipe across and then also on the bottom especially for my eyes because my eyes are quite um like really round so i have to make sure i should really get against all the sides <laughs> and it's not just about like oh trying to remove it with one swipe as sort of like a gimmicky in a gimmicky sort of way the way i see it is that you want to remove your eye makeup with as little pressure as possible this whole scrubbing thing <laughs> mm -mm. And then my lips So get it off and pretty much in one, one swipe. Then while I'm still at it, on the other side, there's still some product left. So I actually use that to remove my eyebrows because brows, brow products, especially if a brow mascaras are kind of hard to break down with uh, other sorts of cleansers. And this will just take off a bulk of it. As you can see right there. And so pretty much the hard part is done. Like the more waterproof products on the face are gone. Like I said earlier, they told me that you can actually use this to wipe your whole face down. And you can, you can almost use this as like your first cleanse when I'm double, when you're double cleansing. And I tend to do that only when I travel, not like when I'm at home. I just use an actual separate cleanser. This is the larger size. They do have a smaller size. Now I don't think that the lipstick that I use really stained my lips, but just in case I wanted to show this product, I've shown this before. It's the I Mimi Tint Cleanser. If you're using a tint product, Cleansing oils and cleansing bombs don't actually remove it really, but this I find actually removes the actual tint on the lips. I don't know how it does it, but it does. It looks like there was right there. And you can see it's like really clean now. So there's removal of the point makeup. Now I'm going to remove my foundation. Uh, clean It Zero by Vanilla Co. They repackaged their classic Clean It Zero, all of their Clean It Zeros. And apparently, according to Joan, they uh, reformulated it. I don't know, to be honest. I can't really tell the difference, but this has just been my go-to cleansing balm because it's quick, easy. It does. It's not too, um, what is it? Cause there's some 
cleansing oils that are hard to spread around. Like I'll be doing on my cheeks, right? By the time I get to my forehead, I feel like I have to get more product. This one spreads out really easy. And this breaks down the foundation really quickly. And if you're into facial massaging, this is actually really great for that because it provides a lot of slip. A lot of people tend to kind of just do this step quickly, but really concentrate on areas like the chin, between the brows, maybe around the nose, because those parts can get really rough and like, like the foundation just really sticks there. So using the pads of your fingers or even your knuckles, knuckle, is this the knuckle, like this part of the fingers, really get in there and break down that makeup. And I think this stuff has a uh, like papaya extract in it, so it will help brighten the skin. And you can actually just use this to remove your eye makeup as well. But I, I tend to use a separate eye and lip makeup remover to make it quicker and easier. So now it's time to remove this cleanser. I'm going to add a little bit of water so it turns milky and I'm going to wipe it off. I've talked about this in almost every skincare video that I do. This is a cleansing sponge and every brand has this. And what I enjoy about this is that I think it was originally meant to help you when you're like using cleansing foam or something. But I use it to actually wipe off the cleanser because one, it's really soft and gentle. It's a sponge. And because it's white, I can tell that the makeup is actually coming off. So um, I'll wipe down, you know, using both sides. I'll rinse it out and then I'll keep wiping until it's all completely clear. That way I know all the foundation is off my skin. And it's really great for around the eye because it's a really smooth sponge. There's no roughness to it. So it just makes removing cleansing uh, a lot more thorough. I know in Korea, I'm not sure about like other places, but in Korea, if they do like a sort of mask on you, they tend to use these to remove that mask. So I'll be right back. So I added a little bit of water, right? And now I'm just gonna wipe it. I usually um, run the sponge under hot water. And I promise, I mean, it looks like I'm being super rough with my skin, but uh, I'm not. <laughs> so there it is. You can see the foundation is all from the sponge. Another benefit to using a sponge like this is that um, you're not touching your face to a towel, which can have a lot of bacteria on it. And with this, you just use it and then you can actually just use an antibacterial soap to rinse it off and wash it. It will turn white again. These are only like a dollar each, so I tend to buy these in bulk and I, cha I change them every month or so. But if you want to save them, I've, I have like boiled it in water before and that helps kind of reset the sponge for a little bit longer use. But I tend to change this when they start to smell bad or um, they just or get harder to kind of um, get wet with water. And because it's a sponge, is absorbing the water in your face and so um, your face is already kind of dry, uh, like you don't need to pat it dry with like um, a separate towel or wait for it to dry because it's a sponge and absorb that moisture, right? So now for cleanser, the Accent Oil Cut Cleansing. I've used this for years, so if you've been following me for a while, you know this is not new. I keep using it, I keep going back to it. I don't know, the cleansers, I don't really stray too far. Other than this, the other one I would recommend is maybe the, uh, would you need the, the one that always comes to mind is the Cosrx Good Morning Cleanser. You don't have to use it just in the morning, you can use it at night at night too. That one has ingredients that will help kind of slough off the dead skin on the surface and really brighten your skin. And it's really light, it doesn't foam too much, it just bubbles a little bit. And it's really refreshing, so that one I really enjoy. This one, honestly, I don't know what the hell they put in here, but it's a gel cleanser, it doesn't foam up or anything. But it basically keeps my skin from getting too oily. I think if you have dry skin, I wouldn't use this every single day. But for me, I have really oily skin and like, I don't know what it does, but it helps keep a lot of that oil at bay. I do notice a difference when I stop using it. You can see it doesn't really foam or do anything really. I take about a quarter size amount and I spread it. And then what I do is um, I take a little bit of water. Don't have water on me right now, so I'm just going to use this toner. And again, like I said earlier, you can actually use this to remove makeup. But I'm very thorough with my cleansing, so I do use separate products. But they've told me before that you can just use this to remove things like light point makeup and foundation. You just have to do it twice. Now I'm going to go rinse this off with a sponge. You know you're good when it comes off clean. I think I forgot to mention this at the beginning, but for me, the main steps for a basic skincare routine, like the base foundation, would be the cleanse, the exfoliate, the moisture, yeah, that's pretty much it. And then there's like the treatment, but depending on each person, you may or may not need that. So like three or four basic steps and everything else is just bells and whistles, right? So the cleansing part, finished. Also, by the way, in the morning, my routine is much simpler. This is just the more long form version, which I do at night. Now for years, I've been telling everyone on my YouTube channel and in person, whenever they ask me uh, ways they can improve their skincare routine, the step that I feel like a lot of people don't do is acid exfoliation. Exfoliation is really important because you want to make sure you get rid of the dead skin on your um, 
skin, right? But I don't necessarily mean like scrubbing. Acid exfoliants will help gently remove the dead skin chemically. It also helps things like um, pore size, um, acne, acne scarring, acne marks, um, wrinkles, and things like that depending on the product that you use. And luckily these days acid exfoliants are way more, um, like you can, it's easier to find them. Because I felt like even a few years ago, it's almost impossible to find brands that had them. And it's usually at this point that I would use that acid exfoliant. So the one I've been using for months that I highly, highly, highly recommend is the Tarte Knockout Tingling Treatment. It says here it's formulated to exfoliate, balance, minimize appearance of pores. I just feel like it helps with everything. It just made, it just basically renews your skin. But I have been using this other product for my exfoliation step. So if you want to do acid exfoliants, I definitely recommend this one. But the thing is, this is quite strong. So if you have more sensitive skin, maybe use it every other day or mix it with maybe water or a toner and into a bottle. So it kind of like dampens the strength a little bit. It's also really great for dry skins because it helps soften up the skin a little bit. And acid exfoliation helps prep your skin for the rest of the skincare and it helps it um, absorb a lot better. Another one of my favorites is the one from um, 3CE, the milk one. That's a lot more gentle, but it still gives you that sort of softening effect on the skin. But like I said, I do have a different product that I've been like obsessed with for my exfoliation, so I'm gonna skip that one and go, go straight into my moisturizing toner. Oh, one thing that I forgot to mention. Um, things like the Cosrx like pads, uh, those are great, but I don't really use them these days because I feel like the actual cotton pad itself is kind of rough and it can kind of irritate my skin. So the only one that I really recommend is like the Misha um, peeling pad because I feel like the exfoliating ingredients in there are a lot, just like a lot more. I feel like the Cosrx uh, pimple pads are kind of like basic compared to the Misha ones, but I know a lot of people love the Cosrx ones, so go ahead, choose that one if that's what you, you're into. I just don't really rely on the cotton itself to exfoliate, I rely on the formula to exfoliate my skin, not really the cotton itself. So that's why I tend to use like something like this on my own cotton pad that's a lot more smooth. Seven Skin has been a thing that I've been that I got back into this year that I don't know why I stopped doing because it solves so many of my issues. There's two kinds of moisture, right? There's actual moisture and there's hydration. And I think a lot of people tend to really only take care of moisture. I'm not gonna give you the exact science behind it, but basically, you know when you put moisturizer on and the outside feels moisturized, but the inside still kind of feels dry. That's kind of when you're dehydrated. For the longest time, I didn't know that. My skin is actually dehydrated. Like my skin's oily, but I'm like, why does my skin still feel and look dry? It's because I'm dehydrated. And the seven skin toner method really takes care of that. Basically, it's where you take a moisturizing toner, not an exfoliating one, but like one that's purely for moisture, and you apply it seven times. And you can think of it as like a dry sponge. If you have a dry, if you have a sponge that's quite dry and you haven't used it in a while, when you run it under hot water, or no, hot water, when you run it under water, it takes a while for it to actually start absorbing the water. You kind of think of your skin that way. The more you layer the toner, the more the toner kind of penetrates into the skin, so you're really getting hydration down into the deeper levels of the skin. It sounds so over the top, but you don't have to go seven steps. I like to just because it allows me to skip out on moisturizer later, um, but you can do it three or five. And the thing is, it's great for dry skin because obviously dry skin, you need as much moisture as possible, right? But it's great for oily skin because you get the hydration and moisture that you need, but um, you don't have to worry about using like a heavy, thick, oily, whatever moisturizer because these tends to just be kind of watery anyway. And the toner that I've been using like nonstop for months now is the Naked Face Stress Zero Toner. Naked Face, I'm, just, I'm like the only one talking about them, I feel like. They're known pretty much only for their cushion, but their skincare is amazing. I met the product development um, girl, the girl at product development, um, and her skin is very, very sensitive. So she basically makes skincare for herself which I think is pretty ingenious because her skin is like so sensitive. So if it's good for her, then pretty much anyone can use it. And the Stress Zero line is meant for very extremely sensitive skin because it's full of ingredients that will not ir irritate you. This one has 90% seawater. So it's not just like, oh, purifying water. It's like seawater. It's a calming balancing toner for smooth, refreshed skin. Suitable for all ages, pretty much how it's described. This one is really watery. So you have to be careful when you take it out. You're, you don't really have to put that much. I, remember, I keep thinking about that comment where someone's like, this is just a way for companies to make you buy more toner. You don't need that much toner for the seven skin. Literally just like a dot. And also if you're gonna be applying toner seven times, you don't wanna be waiting for it to absorb. So you just use a little each time. You guys know my lips are like butthole lips. They're super dry and crusty, but I noticed 
when I started doing this, what I started to do is actually put it on my lips too. Because when you think about it, your lips are also kind of skin as well. And while my skin can get a little bit peely, my skin, my skin, my lips have been so much more plump and less dry looking ever since I started putting my actual moisturizing toner on my lips. So after I pat some on my skin, I'll also go over my lips. Then I noticed, even on days where I am not drinking as much water as I should be, which you should be still, my lips still look way... They look, they look more like this throughout the day rather than like that. I promise you, this seems like a lot of steps and this video is already really long. But if you're not talking to camera, explaining things to people, I'd probably already be done by now. In bed, sleeping, or editing a video, or playing video games. Okay, so I applied it seven times and you can already see, I mean, it's still kind of absorbing to the skin, but another thing that I noticed, it just helps everything. For the longest time, I was always having problems with foundation and concealer sticking in my fine lines. And I'm like, like I'm not the youngest, but I'm also not the oldest. You guys know I'm very expressive here. So the lines form, so I'm like, oh, you know, it's probably from me always like being expressive and always smiling too hard. I'm in mean, here too, and my smile lines here. But I think it's just because my skin was dehydrated that I was getting those really fine lines. And now I almost never get creasing under my um, eyes. I still try to put as little foundation here as possible, but it's helped so, so much. So, so if you haven't gone to the seven skin method, definitely get into it. Do you, do you see this? I mean, my skin is still shit, but like this toner is absorbed already. Do you see that? So for me, that toner was actually the moisturizing stage. I feel like. And for during the day, that's pretty much it. My cleanser, my moisturizing toner. And then I would just slap on like a sunscreen. But for my nighttime routine, at this point is when I would use like the more treatment types of things. I have several. I'm not gonna use every single one right now, um, but I will show you some of the other ones I'm into because they're all kind of different. The Goodall Green Tangerine Vita C Dark Spot Serum. Obviously it's a dark spot serum. It's meant for like uneven skin tone and like dark spots. But when I bought it, the guy was like, oh, that's, a, that's for Mebec, which is like brightening or whitening. Uh, so I guess it helps overall brightening the skin tone and making it more even. Don't let the word whitening or brightening scare you if you have deeper, darker skin. It's just any skin tone can benefit from um, kind of getting, you're not, it's not trying to turn you into like a Caucasian person. It's just any skin tone can get kind of like dark patches around the face. So it's just trying to even out and brighten those spots. And I remember this was always, this is sold out for a while. It took me a while to get this because it, um, the reviews were so good. And so people kept buying them. And so they're always, it was always sold out. It's a kind of, Sorry, let me take this shit off my hand. This is just like kind of light gel serum. It smells like uh, lemons. So I enjoy that. It absorbs really quickly and um, it has brightened up my skin quite a bit. The other one that I t like to use, especially after I get like treatments or I went a little bit overboard with exfoliating products, is the Troyotica Accent Recovery. You know that ingredient, Centella Asiatica, that's in like a lot of products these days? This is pretty much, this is like chock full of it. And I heard, what was it? I, keep, I say it every time I bring this product up. It's like this product is more expensive to make, but they don't make as much back on it when they sell it or something like that. I don't, I don't know. But this is meant to be used for after you get um, skin procedures done. But I love it because it just helps a, a lot with like recovering the skin, especially when I have like a spot that I maybe I should not be like popping with my fingers or when I get treatments like Troy Peel, or like I said, if I go overboard with exfoliation, especially around my chin area um, and around here, I can get really sensitive. This really helps. And actually during the day, sometimes I'll use this as my moisturizer because it's kind of that texture already. It's like a light cream, not even cream, like a lotion. The one that I'm gonna be using today and that I've been using like religiously ever since I got it, and I got it randomly is again, from makeup face the PHA Water Tox. This is the product that I was talking about earlier that I use for exfoliation because there's PHA in here. It's like the new BHA HA thing, but it's, I don't know, it's just like a newer thing. And the beautiful thing about this is that you get that exfoliation, right? That'll help with like pores, you know, smoothness of the skin, roughness, all that stuff that's meant that your exfoliating toner is supposed to do, but it's in the form of like an ampule slash serum. So, cause a lot of things like this can possibly dry the skin uh, which is why it's important to use like moisturizer after this. But because this is in a serum ampule form, it kind of has the exfoliation plus moisture. So you get the best of both worlds, right? But this is kind of like the texture of honey, basically. And what they were telling me is that this basically gives you Gurupibu, which is like honey skin, which it really does. You can see it's kind of like right there. It's really sticky almost.
Then when you pat it to the skin, you can see it kind of sticks. Of course that goes away after a little bit. Bitch, the next morning my skin is glowing. It's so good. And actually, I've recorded this video like four times. It's just I'm never happy with how it turns out. But at the time that I recorded like the first time, I think it wasn't released yet. So I think it's released by now. I'm just not sure if it's online yet. I have to ask. And if I find it, I will link it. But this stuff... Why am I the only one talking about Naked Face? You guys know, I'm a huge fan and advocate of their AHA Scaling Cream, their 10% glycolic acid. This is transforming. I use this on days before I have like a special event because my skin is so much more plump the next day. Like my acne scarring, like the, the pitted acne scarring is way more raised the next day. But this can be quite, quite harsh and turn my skin really raw. So this one is kind of like a, you know, sister to that. But this one really makes the skin great for makeup because it's just much more, oh my God. Yeah. Even if you don't wear makeup, if you are into like that glass skin look, you will get it with this. Especially if your skin's a lot better than mine. Like you don't have like all these issues. Oh my god, it looks so good. It is still a little bit tacky, but the next step will kind of take care of that. And to be honest, I can really just stop here because I feel like I'm not really into like... The thing is, the reason I don't really do this 10, 10 step skincare routine is kind of like, if you notice, a lot of them are just like, well, this product is really moisturizing, and this one is really moisturizing. Like, how much moisture do I need when I get most of it in this? But for the next step, I include this step because it kind of helps with the sensitivity or rawness or prevent it the rawness or sensitivity that I can get from products like these right here. This is the Dr. G Berry Activator Balm. And like the name suggests, it's basically like a balm. I like this because it's not just like a regular moisturizer, like, oh, great, my skin feels moist. Because again, I got that from this. This is kind of like, it's gonna sound scary when I say it, it kind of looks and feels like Vaseline, but don't worry, it doesn't feel like it's just sitting on top of the skin. It does absorb eventually. Um, and it kind of melts and kind of melts when you kind of apply it to the skin. But this kind of takes away the stickiness from the last product. Of course, not every product has this unique this unique texture anyway, so it doesn't matter. But this has been like my dream team combination as of late. Not only does it, you know, take away that stickiness, but also the main point of this is that it helps protect the skin from getting raw and sensitive from any exfoliating products that I use. So great for things like after this. I don't know if I'm just making all of that up in my head, but I just feel like it helps so much more. Cause I know I don't really get any more of that raw sensitivity that I get, especially around my chin. I'm not saying go out there and like really start exfoliating the heck out of your face and just putting this on top. But what I've noticed is that this really does just help. And I think if you have dry skin and this isn't enough for you, this makes a great thing to put over top. And I swear to God, by the morning, my skin is freaking glowing. You see that? Oh. Yes. Yes. Provides moisturizing and refreshing oil coating over skin prone to roughness and sensitivity. There are a lot of people that, um, even if they have really great, clear, even skin, it kind of looks dull, I think, in a way. Where kind of like, it doesn't really have, it's kind of just flat, there's no like glow to it. I mean, that's fine too, that, that looks great. But I think it's products like these and this that will really give you that glow that I think people associate with like great skin, I guess. And also it's great for people that live in really cold, dry climates, so. <laughs> All right, so that was a lot of steps, but I hope that helped you guys kind of understand more of the way I approach skincare. So again, main steps, cleansing, exfoliating, moisturizing, and treatment, I guess, if you need it. I'll talk about more specific uh, things like sunscreen, masks, packs, and things like that in another video. But for now, this has like been my skincare routine as of late, and it's made my skin so much better. All the products that I talked about will be linked down below if you're interested. And yeah, hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye.